Devani Monroe from isfabulous.com What happens when a successful interior designer turns to her inner muse and begins to design jewelry? You get a versatile jewelry collection that enables women to mix up the pieces and make them a part of her own personal style. And that is exactly what interior designer turned jewelry designer Stephanie Cantus has created. Although the collection is only a few years in the making, Stephanie Cantus has already made her mark on fashion jewelry creations that are as beautiful and timeless as they are versatile. A true lesson in how following your passion leads to success, Stephanie Cantus has created a collection of must-have pieces that will make your spring a memorable one. We are at the London Hotel in New York with designer Stephanie Cantus to see her spring 2014 jewelry collection. Mm. How did you get into the jewelry business to begin with? Oh gosh, you know, as an interior designer for so many years, I really wanted to get artistic with my hands, you know, and I started sculpture and pottery and ceramics and actually metalworking. And the sculpture was what I really took to, and this was only about three years ago. It's now 2012 and this was- 2013. Sorry, 13. <laughs> Time really flies when you're having fun. Um, so anyway, uh, I just really wanted to get artistic and I had so much fun making artists and little sculptures that I realized, oh, somebody suggested maybe I take a jewelry class or two. And that's when the lights went off and I thought, oh my gosh, I could put little hooks on my little sculptures and I could actually add semi-precious stones. And I really could dip these sculptures in beautiful 24 karat gold that I could actually wear. So I really started making fabulous chains and then adding these wonderful semi-precious stones and wearing my pieces. And that's kind of what started. several big outlets? Well, I say uh, my favorite. Um, we've got Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, wonderful specialty retailer store, retailers, uh, independent retailers throughout the country. So it's been really exciting in only about two and a half years. So majorly fast growth. It's been a whirlwind. Well, speaking of majorly fast growth, we're now on to the spring 2014 yes, collection. Yes, yes. See, that's why I had all my years mixed up, because it goes so fast. It does. It goes so fast. <laughs> and you, yeah, we're talking about 2014, and it's still 2013. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> um, can you tell us what the spring 2014 inspiration was? Ah, gosh. You know, color for sure, and pendants. Um, it's all about the pendant. For me, it's about centering uh, oneself, especially the woman, having the confidence to anything you're wearing, anything, whether it's casual t-shirts and a great little um, pair of jeans adding that gold and adding a special color with a, a great statement piece pendant I feel is going to finish the look for her and give her a great fashion up you know um, and also a ladylike presence so a lot of my colors my stones um, everything that you see in my collection this year um, really gives the woman uh, the confidence of being a woman and showing her personal style like I said picking pendants and changing them them, changing her style to what her mood is. I think that's an important one for the season. So.
it's definitely very important for a lot of women out there. Now you mentioned that color was really important as an inspiration for this collection. What are the important colors in the group? Ooh, okay, so of course we've got great, and I call it baby amethyst. It's just this wonderful, lovely pastel amethyst. Uh, another color that's fabulous is rose quartz, and the pinks are so pretty. Blush, very beautiful with most ladies' skin, whether she's light or dark. The, um, the undertones of the blush rose quartz are really beautiful on any on every woman and they're so pretty on the skin look at stones um, as actually something that embraces and enhances your look or your beauty, your own beauty, and it doesn't clobber it or overtake your, her beauty. So that's what's kind of fun. Also blues, the blues that you see behind me are fabulous with the great spot of carnelian orange, kind of like the blue of your eyes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting you say that also because it, I think that's something that a lot of women really look for, to have something that enhances them, not oh, overpowers them. Very, very important. And I think accessorizing um, has been so much fun for me because we all get that in fall that you can wear that great accessory scarf. But how do you wear that great pendant and that great chain? Well, I wear it like a great scarf and I wear it all year long and then I throw the scarf or the, the beautiful wrap around and you just add it on. And I think the layering, if you do it right and you have um, a certain neckline, you're actually enhancing your neckline, you're enhancing your look, and you're giving yourself a vertical line, which takes about five pounds off most women. Oh, we all want to look Isn't thinner, nice? don't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I've got this vertical line, I feel like the eyes are looking at me in a little more vertical way, and I feel two inches taller and about five pounds lighter. So that's what a chain and a pendant can do for you. Maybe I'll have to start wearing them. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need it. So <laughs> you don't need it. And the tie does that for you. So that is true. That so is true. There you go. You men have it covered. talked about shapes as well being important. What are the really key shapes in this collection? Uh, well, I love happy shapes, um, and I love geometrical shapes, and then I have a little floral going on. So it's kind of a mix of just powerful geometrics meets floral, and then happy. Like, this is my celebration pendant, and it doesn't it look like a little celebration, little hat? Oh, it It's kind of neat, but it still has the elegance, of course, that uh, if you didn't know it was a little celebration hat. So that's one thing, and the cone. Um, some vintage shapes, I would say, are also quite fun. Um, if you actually look at um, anything that has some swirls, this has a really great look to it because it has uh, a little more of that avant-garde or avant-new look. Um, I do some deco shapes, which, which enhance that geometric by combining geometric shapes, which is really beautiful as well.
Some buzzwords I've been hearing today are something about the memory chain. Can you tell us what that's all about? Oh gosh. Okay, so I've been trademarking things because my PR company says to do this, and it's actually <laughs> quite fun. Um, but most importantly, it actually tells you all what my my uh, my my jewelry does. I named everything the Versatile Collection because it does all these things I just showed you. Pick your pendant. Pick your bracelet. Add your bracelet into your chain, but you can also actually take bracelets. So for instance, I have three bracelets. I call them the trio, which we say is the arm party. Are you ready for me to show I'm them? I'm ready for you to so show. So you add like a trio, take three bracelets, and this is the arm party. It's so much fun, gals, because it gives you something playful and easy and just breezy to wear for summer, but gosh, you can take all of these three bracelets and connect them. So let's say your friend got you, you know, a couple girlfriends picked in and they bought you a wonderful uh, bracelet for your birthday. Your husband got you one for the anniversary. You purchased this yourself because you were having a really great day. Um, <laughs> and you just started attaching these. Well, what happens is this, bra this these bracelets all connect together to make a fabulous memory chain. So that's the other um, kind of nickname that we say. This memory chain becomes something that literally provides memories for you to remember. Oh, I got this from my husband from the anniversary. And women are starting to collect long memory chains by Stephanie Cantus. So that's been really exciting and it's very flexible. That memory chain can be worn again as the memory uh, belt. belt. It can be worn again as a long chain. You can shorten it up or you can take bits and pieces of it and add it to your chain. So it's just that flexibility of having something that's kind of um, a little bit of an emotional attachment. And it's kind of quite, quite unique because you've created your own chain that has your own memory. And it all has the Stephanie Home Cantus background. S link on it. It sure does. You've got the Stephanie Cantus S, uh, which is definitely recognizable, um, but it's also a pretty piece too. So it's such a pleasure to explain all this to you all because it's kind of kind of fun. Well, I think you found your destiny with jewelry. Yes, You're maybe. Doing it's a, a start. Yes, it's a start, but <laughs> I, I keep seeing it getting bigger and bigger because it is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. And I appreciate this. I, it's really fun. Congratulations.